Businesses in Papua New Guinea are already operating in unfavorable conditions, such as constant power outages resulting in worn-out equipment and increased operational costs. Chief Executive Officer of the Lay Biscuit Company, Ian Chow, said another barrier was added when PNG Customs recently changed the coding of certain goods. LBC was affected when the coding on shortening was changed and duty was added. On top of that, the charges were backdated to five years earlier, meaning companies have to pay the new rate for the previous financial years. I was here arguing with the customs people and said, listen, hey, if you change the coding, you're going to affect the 9 million people in this country because I'm going to increase my price. You know, you have the decision in your hand to say, no, I won't change the coding and I'll keep the price the same. You, only one person. But they changed. Not just on me, on a lot of business. So the prices have gone up, people are complaining. It's gone up 50, 100 percent. Not just biscuit, everything. Because a lot of the coding will change. It was easy to come to us to collect money than to do it the hard way and cut, slash your budget, try not to uh, spend so much, I'm talking about the government, spend less, spend it more efficiently, uh, and look at what you can do to get the jobs and get the money into people's hands. In terms of back charge, Chow questioned the rationale of fining companies for the past financial years. You've already ordered us every year since then, and you've checked us already, and it's not our fault. If you want to put the new duty, you put it from today onwards, not put it back in the arrears. So these companies who are fighting these arrears are saying, if I have to pay that 20 million, I'm going to close my door, because I've sold that product already. The, you know, the, the, my, my accounts have been closed on those already. So if you're giving me a 20 million tax bill, well, I can't possibly pay it. Another company hard hit by the change is Panamax, who import soap noodles. Panamax Pacific PNG General Manager Eric Ilman said the business has been operating in PNG for 50 years and has always been compliant with previous year audits, yet customs changed the codes and put a 20% duty on soap noodles. He said the back charge of five years is putting companies at risk of closing. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.